New subject, Governor Susana Martinez will begin her second term in January, but she still has 85 appointees waiting for confirmation from the legislature. The highest profile of these being, of course, Secretary-designate Hannah Scandera for education. And on top of these still waiting, returning cabinet secretaries must also go through confirmation again. That's thanks to a 2008 constitutional amendment that was actually pushed by Republican Leonard Lee Rawson, remember him, who wanted to make sure government bureaucrats didn't get too powerful. And Didi, we, we can appreciate his, his uh, point there, but unintended consequences here, 85 is a big number. 25 is one thing, 35, but 85 is a... Well, I know. think it's not that unusual okay. for the Senate Rules Committee. And usually, I was on the Senate Rules Committee, and usually in December there is a couple of day meeting where a lot of these boards and commissions are knocked off pretty expeditiously. Right. And so when you go into the session, then you have probably 25 to 30 of the more higher profile cabinet secretaries. Okay, mm -hmm. that's an interesting distinction. I'm glad you mentioned that. I think most of us would know that. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. you know, despite the fact that you have this backlog or perceived backlog, I think it's a real backlog, right. um, the wheels of government have still not stopped. Right. And so, you know, I mean, Point. life continues. This is just more of the political banter and the discussion sure. as far as uh, reliving the political election sure. season. Is this too, is this inside baseball and folks are eh, just sort of about the public or, or do folks feel like they're being underserved by not well, having these Well, I, I think we have one high profile appointment that has not been confirmed. It hasn't gone to an up or down vote. So people are questioning it. Yeah. But there are two sides to this and, and one is the executive needs to put forth their appointments. But the other side, and this is the legislative side, uh, Senator Lopez probably needs to hold more meetings more quickly. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm. What do you think? Um, I think it's important to note, yes, government is going forward. Mm -hmm. And on some level, you know, if there had been an up or down vote on uh, Secretary-designate Scandera, mm -hmm and it had gone down, she would be gone the next day. Right. And that hasn't happened, and so she has been allowed to continue to, to serve, to operate, uh, and that might not have happened. It's, I think it's not as dire yeah. in some ways as some people. That's an interesting point. I, I can appreciate that.